Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. My name's Katie and I upload book related videos every single Wednesday and I do want to point out at the beginning of this video as I'm holding up the books if you notice that my thumbs look like little hot Cheetos. That is because I'm going to a pool party today for the 4th of July. I feel like a lot of us own self tanner but never actually use it so I found it at the bottom of my drawer and I was like this is the perfect time to use this. Mistake, I scrubbed my hands right after I applied all of it but it's still this is what happened. So next time I'll wear gloves. I know it's a rookie mistake but yeah so if you see my little hot Cheeto hands throughout the video that is why. So today I'm going to be showing a few books that I picked up as well as the book of the month books for July I believe it is. So the first book as you guys know I absolutely adored Big Little Lies so I picked up The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty and it's interesting because when I was reviewing Big Little Lies I felt like all of the comments were saying check out The Husband's Secrets it's the best one out of all the books she's written besides Big Little Lies and then when I posted that I got this on Instagram everyone was like yeah I was really bored by that book. So if you've read this definitely let me know what you think but this is about a woman whose husband has written some letter. I don't know what it's about. I guess the intention is that if he ever dies, she'll have this letter with important information. However, she comes across that letter, her husband's secret while he's still alive. At least I think that's the premise. So really excited about that. And then Jenny from Adulterish Books also sent me a copy of what was it called? What Alice Forgot. However, my mom is reading that right now. So once she finishes it, she'll bring it back to me. But this is about a woman who she's 29, her husband, her family, everything's perfect. And then at the gym, she wakes up and she's, I don't remember, I don't have the book in front of me. She's either 39 or 49 and she's forgotten all of those years and her husband and her are now divorced and her life has basically gone to shit. So it's about her kind of figuring out what happened and putting those pieces together. And then my friend picked this up for me and this is When God Was a Woman and this is historical nonfiction, which if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know I don't read a lot of, but the content of this does sound really fascinating. So it's about how in ancient times people dream generally worshipped women. So this is looking into the history of exactly why and how things shifted from a matriarchy to a patriarchy, so I think that should be really interesting. Before I move on to the book of the month picks, I don't normally talk about, you know, doing shameless plugs for Twitter and Instagram, but I'll only do it once right now and it's, I think, for a valid reason, but I have been kind of sad about the fact that just because, like, with working full time and, like, trying to meet people and make friends since I've moved, I really only have time to post one video a week, which is why I do this, you know, once a week, Wednesday schedule and I'm really happy with it but it also means I don't have time to film and make videos about other things I might want to like say for example I really love makeup or I really love TV shows or even more like vlog style videos and since I only upload like four videos a month I want most of those to be about books and then the occasional like psych pop video so it's hard to fit in that other content so I have started actually I just started yesterday but I'm gonna be Instagram storying and I know I'm like six months to what like a year late to the game so I'll be talking about other things I'm enjoying like makeup, skincare, TV shows. I say this, but realistically 95% of it is gonna be me just like snapping myself sitting in my cube at my office and work. So, so link down below, I'll have my Instagram link. It's just chapter stack. So check it out if you'd like. So, so moving on to the book of the month picks, when I opened the box and saw this book on top, you can see it peeking up, I squealed internally um, because I've been meaning to pick this up and that is Final Girls, a novel by Riley Sager. This sounds like an 80s horror movie put in into a book. I don't know if it's going to be good, but I'm sure it'll be fast paced and fun. And I personally love reading fast paced thrillers during the summer. And a lot of you guys are saying you like to read those types of books during the winter and fall, which makes actually much more sense. But I'm super excited to like sit on the beach and read this. So our protagonist for this is Quincy, who when she went on vacation with five friends when she was younger, she was the only one to survive. All of the rest were killed. So, so there are all of these girls like that who exist who were kind of the final girls in different scenarios, the only ones to survive. So a serial killer is going after and killing off all of these final girls. So I think that's such like a weird, fun, out there premise. So, so I think this one is gonna be just super fun. This next one actually looks a lot like my desktop background on my computer because um, you guys know I love urban exploring. So I just like looking at houses that have kind of fallen apart as sad as they are. But this is nonfiction and it sounds really interesting. It's a true crime novel about arson that was going on in Virginia. And the inside flap actually gives a ton of way for exactly who was committing the arson and everything like that. So I kind of got a few sentences in and stopped, but all I know is it's about a true story about arson in Virginia. And strangely enough from what I glanced over, but it also looked like it strangely might have some romance in there as well. And I never said, but this is American Fire Love 
of Arson and a Life in a Vanishing Land by Monica Hess. Then the next book is The Windfall by Dishka Basu and this takes place in India and, and the father of this family, thus the title The Windfall, comes onto a large sum of money and it's about how that affects the family. And the reason I'm intrigued by this is I feel like these types of stories are almost always told from the point of view of the kid in the family. It's always like the kid taking in the things that are happening to his or her family. So I'm excited for once for the perspective to be the parents, at least that seems like what's happening here. So this looks really exciting. Next one, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not super interested in just based off the summary. So let me know if you guys have read this and if you think I would like it or not, I might pass it on to a friend. And to, and to be clear, you guys know that doesn't mean I'm ungrateful for book of the month overall, but, but, but realistically I'm human if I'm sent five books, they're gonna be generally one or two I'm not interested in. So I always love to donate them. So this book is Goodbye Vitamin by Rachel Kong. I do love the cover though, I will say. And this is about a 31 year old woman who breaks up with her fiance and then moves back into her family. So it's a lot about familial issues, um, but I might read a little bit into this and see what I think about it. But the inside blurb was just super short and didn't really discuss much of what was going on in the book. And then the final book, we have another thriller and this is The Child by Fiona Barton. And this is about a woman, I believe it's a detective, no, it's a journalist named Kate Waters who, who, who finds out that when an old building in London was being demolished, they found the skeleton of a tiny, I was gonna say tiny dead baby, but obviously. They find a tiny skeleton in the base of this building. So it's about her investigating, looking back into the past to try and figure out exactly what happened and how this baby came to be dead. I feel like I'm describing this dead baby very badly. So those were the books I've acquired over the past month or so. It's July 4th today, but as you're watching this, that will be over. So I hope you had a wonderful July 4th. If you're Canadian, I hope you had a wonderful July 1st. And I do want to say thanks again to all of you on Twitter for all of the birthday well wishes. My next video will be a review of After Dark by Haruki Murakami. So definitely stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.